How to calculate transition levels. Aircraft flying on cruising levels use the standard pressure setting of 1013 decimal 2 hectopascals in the altimeter. The pilots change from this to a local QNH value when passing the transition level. In some countries, both the transition altitude and transition levels are fixed numbers, regardless of the actual air pressure. In the US and Canada, the transition altitude is fixed at 18,000 feet, and the lowest usable flight level is either 180, or 200, based on the current pressure setting. In Europe and much of the rest of the world, the transition altitude varies from airport to airport. It is a fixed value and is published in the AIP. The transition level will float with the QNH. The transition level is the lowest assignable level that will guarantee a minimum of 1,000 feet vertical separation from an aircraft at the highest assignable altitude using local QNH, which is the IKO recommendation. And how to calculate these floating transition levels then? Let's assume that our transition altitude is 5,000 feet. When the QNH is precisely 1013, flight level 60 would be 1,000 feet above the transition altitude, making it perfect for a transition level. But what happens when the air pressure drops? This time our QNH is down all the way to 9 or 9 or 4 hectopascals. This means that the reference level is higher since air pressure value drops when we go up. Now we need to determine what is that 5,000 feet in our current QNH compared to the standard pressure 1013. First, let's calculate the difference between standard pressure and our QNH right now. 1013 hectopascals minus 9 or 9 or 4 hectopascals equals 19 hectopascals. On average, each hectopascal equals 27 feet in altitude. 19 times 27 equals 513 feet. This means that our transition altitude of 5,000 feet is actually 5,513 feet. If there was an aircraft above at flight level 60, it would only be 487 feet above. In order to get that required 1,000 feet vertical separation in between, we have to raise the transition level to flight level 70. Even flight level 65 wouldn't work, since we would still be that 13 feet short of the minimum vertical separation. This whole thing works the other way around as well. If the QNH goes high up so much that your pressure difference altitude is more than 500 feet, you will achieve the 1,000 feet vertical separation with the traffic flying on flight levels at a transition level 55. Want to learn more? Join us for more ATC training videos. See you there.